We have with us uh, a very eminent uh, filmmaker from Sri, Sri Lanka, Mr. Prasanna Vidhanage, a, a highly acclaimed filmmaker who has won several awards at the uh, Sri Lankan level and the international level. And he has uh, known George not just for feature films and everything, even for documentaries he has done a great uh, contribution, is very significant. And uh, sir, it's an honor for Kovai uh, Post to have you with us and uh, giving us an opportunity to, to have a face-to-face -face with you, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, sir, sir uh, at the outset of the inauguration, you, you were talking about the role of uh, film festivals in taking forward the, the great medium of cinema. So, yes, can you just like, elaborate, sir? Yes, sir. Um, I think today, international film festivals have become a kind of an alternative distribution circuit. Why I am saying that? Because most of the theatres are taken by commercial pictures and these commercial pictures are shown because they earn money. So what will happen to films that young filmmakers make as part of their self fiction so we have to play, platform those films and today international film festivals are recognizing young talent and supporting them. So even I have been, uh, let's say, benefited by international film festivals all over the world. Yes. So that, that's why UT Film Festival is very important to bring out the talent of the young people, not only in Moti, in Chennai, other parts of India and maybe in the subcontinent. Yes, sir. How do you see the beginning like this Moti Film Festival? What do, you, what do you feel is the potential? I think it has created good vibes and uh, they have uh, selected a very good amount of films. Yes, sir. Uh, and uh, I see a lot of young enthusiasts. Okay, in the theatre and the outside, very good. Sir. Participating in the forums and watching movies, so that is uh, what we need. Why, sir? Because Uti has for several years played a major role in film shooting. It has figured in several uh, all India. This thing and also uh, Hollywood pictures like A Passage to India and all have been shot here. Is that the reason that you know there is some sort of a link between cinema and Uti and, and, and future of cinema? I think it's the right destination Great. for an international film festival and it should be a calendar date. Yeah. What, sh what should the organizers kind of focus on? I think they should uh, try to bring more films uh, or more better films yes. uh, from all over the Asia yes. uh, and announce it as an international film festival yes. and place it uh, in December, yes, sir. a calendar date in UT, uh, and they should invite other festival delegates also, because the others then, after seeing these films, they will uh, carry those films or the or the news about these films to their festivals. Yes, sir. So then, the, these these platforms become kind of a launching pad for uh, new filmmakers. Great. So that, well, how do you see cinema as a career? You know, because now people like uh, the sense now they're no longer looking at medicine and engineering as a very conventional this thing. They want to kind of choose different careers sort of thing. So how do you see it from that point of view and from the returns point of view? Like? Yes, uh, I know the conventional thinking is that filmmaking and being a director doesn't. Uh, earn your bread and butter but times have changed okay. and if you if you are really working for it i think no artist should starve okay okay and uh, uh, i believe today okay. there are so many platforms yes sir. apart from uh, uh, screens yes sir. other cinema halls yes like uh, digital platforms streaming um, and television, even the mobile smartphones, all these have been kind of platforms for films. So I think it's a 
uh, good uh, kind of good exposure you get more than anything i like film making and it became my profession because i feel it gives you lot of freedom it gives you lot of satisfaction because you are able to voice what you see in the society i just said and uh, that's a rare thing because i mean the uh, if let's say a person a civil servant or a clerk i mean they may see certain things but if they they are they will be i mean they have they are watching it they are uh, become a kind of a, they become kind of a passive hmm? like a uh, participant but filmmaker is a is not a passive participant he is a participant and always activist he make a difference to society yes right yeah now while on this subject like you know how wide or how narrow is the gap between mainstream cinema and parallel cinema um uh, gap always gap that gap would be there and today's world i, I we all know it's uh, controlled by hollywood uh, by blockbusters but at the same time there are filmmakers and independent directors working in usa within the system and india and uh, while bollywood is i mean uh, earning money and all that same time we know that the regional cinema is also and even uh, filmmakers from mumbai they are making different films so that i think in the industry it uh, it coexist you Me- can meaningful cinema meaningful cinema could co coexist with the commercial with co- commercial cinema i said yeah the other way or other as i said in the beginning that's why the, you know, we need this film festival yeah. so not only coexistence to create a niche market on niche platform right. for the meaningful cinema fine but but then how is the growing dependence on graphics like you find now filmmakers in sort of this good old way of having people in doing everything in front of flesh and blood they depend on so much on graphics that they film complete a film in a within inside a room yes uh, one can uh, look at it in a positive way one can look at it in a negative way positive way is today film making the, the graphics uh, I, i mean the cg departments uh, they are able to realize whatever you visualize in your mind that's a positive thing and too much dependent on the graphics while forgetting the characterization yeah forgetting the human being is a negative factor yes so how do you balance this uh normally i don't depend on graphics graphics you don't bring graphics anyway but uh, you see now the sort of film making so as far as india is concerned uh, this, this is a bit sensitive in the sense like how do you deal in uh, politics from cinema so to it's a very good question because uh, we living do you have same problem sri lanka same problem is everywhere in the sub in subcontinent because when people are polarized on ethnic and religious life when they lose the middle middle point hmm, to be uh, a middle a kind of a, you know you come to and uh, come to see things and come to understand things using their brains uh when it is not sometimes it is not po- possible because of the religious conviction and the nationalist convictions are so strong and sometimes the governments are promoting this nationalistic and exploiting the, exploiting the i mean the fears of the people so it's bad and it's bad in the sense the filmmaker the one who see certain truths maybe he see, he see something Uh, not according to the government line so he will be in trouble That's because the censor uh, ship will go against him and won't it affect the future of cinema of course but you have we have to remember it's not the first generation it's not only us that facing uh, uh, censorship it i mean uh, let's say uh, how many great films that iran how iranian filmmakers have made under mullah uh i mean the, they are controlled in, uh, and uh, during the stalinism in the eastern europe how many filmmakers uh, made beautiful and great films so always 
filmmakers should stick to their conviction and whatever happens mm -hmm. they should stick to the truth when i say convictions that means truth not their own belief because it's a every film is for me uh, is kind of a search in for a truth i'm trying to understand the characters in my film and their social political background how the social political background they are living has affected them so we have <coughs> have to search for that we shouldn't be let's say uh, uh, i must say whatever the suppression uh, we shouldn't be stoop by it or we shouldn't uh, compromise acha but mas matlab hai ki when you say compromise how far can you carry freedom of expression until is the yeah, yeah, filmmaker should, should think whatever doesn't bring our death will make should make us strong whatever doesn't make <laughs> make us so, so freedom, freedom of expression can be carried as, as like uh, to any extent or something freedom of expression should be carried i mean extend as you, as it suggests the freedom of expression is expressing what you see and what you what is i mean covered always what is covered should be uncovered you no know, by filmmakers okay this Uh, when we see in the context of padmavati mm -hmm. we must be following what's happening yeah. and, and then you find like uh, the indians are sensible it is still kind of keeping it pending sort of thing and the british have given uh, certificate for that yeah. sort of so is the can we have some sort of a global standard uh, can that global standard kind of apply to all countries as a filmmaker i believe that there shouldn't be any kind of censorship Yeah, there shouldn't be any kind of censorship. There should be only standardization or on rating, hmm? because you uh, what uh, what the other countries do. Let's say uh, British Board of Censor Board, Censor Certificate. They give a certificate. They have certain rating system. This film is good for. all the i mean the, it's a universal it should be it's a universal and all the i mean from the ch chill little children uh, and all the adults could be we they could, this film could be we together so that's one thing and if uh, if it is a adult uh, subject then they will give us a, a, a mature audience certificate yeah so film the the, the board's uh, job is yes. not to censor film yes